Hello everyone and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today I'm super excited to share with you my new favorite dessert recipe, blueberry ice cream made in the Ninja Creamy. Since I got the creamy about a month ago, I've been using the creamy a lot. And let me tell you, it makes the creamiest, most delicious ice cream ever. This blueberry ice cream uses only three ingredients. And if you're interested in a low calorie diet, the whole pint is just 215 calories. Sound good? Well, grab your apron and let's get started. Before we get started, I want to say one thing about the last time we used the Ninja Creamy when we made the strawberry ice cream. When we made that, we made it directly from the Ninja Creamy recipe booklet that came with the machine. It called for 100% heavy cream. And I found after making it, although the flavor was delicious, there was an unsavory texture to the ice cream, sort of a waxy mouthfeel. On researching that, I found out that it was because of using only heavy cream. The way the machine works, it literally whips it into butter. That's why you get that unpleasant mouth feel that's sort of waxy, greasy almost, and you can feel it on your spoon even after you take it out of your mouth. To counteract that, what you need to do is make sure that you use, if you're using heavy cream, use half heavy cream and half regular milk. Or if you can find half and half, use that. But don't use all heavy cream, otherwise you're making butter in your creamy. And that contributes to that terrible feel. It's not necessary to use heavy cream. Let's not use it. I'm only using three ingredients in this recipe. It's as easy as it can be. The only difficult part about the entire recipe is waiting 24 hours for it to freeze. So let's get started. Okay, for this recipe, we're gonna use one cup of blueberries. You can use them fresh. These I had frozen and I left them out to sit for just a little while to kind of thaw them so that I can crush them a little bit with a potato masher. Put them in a small bowl. They don't have to be completely smooth. It doesn't matter if they're chunky. You could also use a, a fork if you wanted to or even a heavy spoon, but I'm not trying to puree them. Now I'm going to set that aside for a second. And I like to use a large quart size measuring cup just because it makes it easier when I mix everything up to pour it into the creamy container. And I have 1% milk here and I need one cup. Only other ingredient is I have two tablespoons of sugar-free cheesecake flavored instant pudding mix. Now don't get the cooked pudding mix, get the instant pudding mix. You don't have to use sugar-free, but if you want to be down to the 215 calories, that's what you want. This is going to add to the creaminess, takes the place of like xanthan or guar gum, and it adds a little bit of flavor as well. And I'm just going to take a whisk and mix this together until it starts to thicken just a little bit. It starts to thicken just a little bit because of the pudding mix. And you can see already, it's already thicker than it was. Now, I'm just gonna add my blueberries to it and give it a quick stir. And that's all of our prep. Now we're just gonna take our creamy container, our pint, and pour this mixture right in there. You don't wanna go above that max fill line. And this is actually gonna be a little bit under now you can make this with other types of milk or make it even non-dairy if you want. Use coconut milk or almond milk. Now I'm way under the max fuel line, but that's okay. Just put on the lid. Now's the hard part. Put it in the freezer and let it freeze for 24 hours. Luckily, we don't have to wait because I made one up yesterday. It had a slight hump in the middle. I just scraped it down to make it even. I'm going to place it in our carrier, lock it on, and now we're ready to process it.
Now, you see how powdery it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and re-spin it one more time. And if it still has that look when we do the second spin, we'll go ahead and add another tablespoon or two of the 1% milk and we'll give it another re-spin. See, we're almost getting there. It's still not quite as creamy as we want it. So I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of the 1% milk and we'll put it on to re-spin again. That's the way we want it. You can see it's nice and creamy. That looks perfect. And that color, that color is just fantastic. I love the color, besides the fact that it tastes delicious. It's so, so good, creamy, and even with no added sugar, it satisfies that sweet tooth. I'll continue to experiment with my new toy and have more delightful creations as I explore all that this machine can do. As always, the recipe is just below the like button, as well as a link so that you can print it out. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have fun in the kitchen.